Hey everybody, I'm Rousseau and I do a little work here and there. You are watching Rack and Tear Weekly. This week I'm basically biding my time. I'm making a project that I'm sure we've all worked on at one point or another. A dice tower. Of course, my dice tower is a little different. If you couldn't guess from the title, it has some peculiar measurements. I've made mine 1.2 inches by 4.8 inches by 10.8 inches. And that works out to pretty much 1 squared by 2 squared by 3 squared. It's a whole scale thing. Don't blame me. Blame Stanley Kubrick. I fitted this thing with a series of magnets, so it stays closed pretty well, and if you take the back off and flip it around, it sticks into its spot pretty well too. Every surface you see is made of six layers of cardstock, and that makes them all roughly a sixteenth of an inch thick. It's your basic jigsaw puzzle design, and you can probably see how it's constructed. I just spray painted this, but it would probably be a better idea to cut extra pieces of paper to just cover up all the faces and hide those details. I ended up putting a lot of baffles in this dice tower. The dice just sort of bounce from left to right. And if I could make any improvements, I would have the final fall be from a little bit higher because the dice do tend to gather around the opening at the bottom. Of course, you got what's basically a nine by four dice tray with felt in the bottom. So if you really need to roll a lot of dice at once, you could totally just roll them in there. Or you don't be lazy, you move them out of the way. The bits hidden on the inside go to the right, to the left to the right to the left and then there's a bit of structure inside to keep your dice from getting lost I think I also put 20 cents worth of pennies in the bottom and weigh about a 20 degree ramp at the bottom and the dice come out the actual tower portion of the dice tower is pretty much just a box opening in the bottom opening in the top there's a bit of thickness added on the front of the bottom to make up for the section where there's no felt on the base when the whole thing is closed up. And after all that construction, I guess you could just use the dice tray by itself. I put the felt in there because the cardstock by itself just wouldn't grab the dice, so as soon as they hit it, they would just slide. And that's no fun, especially with D4s. I hate rolling D4s. Thus, Dice Tower. 2001 a Dice Tower. It's kind of funny. And hey, you could even use it as a terrain object, not that you'd really want to. It's kind of big, it's ominous. We'll get that out of here, because this thing is made to be used with dice. And that's all the time I have for today. You've been watching Rack and Tear Weekly on Russo Works, and I am Russo. out. <laughs>